Welcome to Know Your Doosan. Welcome to Know Your Doosan. I'm Mark. And today, we're going to talk about a really great topic that's important on any machine and any program. What is that really great topic? It's none other than program interruption and a couple of ways to restart your program to get it back up and running. So let's jump right into the middle of our program and get it running again. I know you've done this because I've done it. You hit the feed hold button while a program is running because you realize you left out a critical feature on your part or you break a tool and you need to stop the machine, make the correction and pick back up where you left off. We've all been there, right? So to get this thing started back up in the right way, I want you to follow these important steps to restart your Doosan machine while in the middle of your program. So here we have already hit the feed hold button to stop the motion of the machine. And then we press the reset hard key. This will cancel the physical operation of the machine. The spindle will stop and the feed and rapid commands to move the axis will cancel. Next, let's move your spindle to a safe spot by using the manual pulse generator if your situation allows. To do this, put the machine in hand wheel mode and move the appropriate axis to get away from the part. After we have done that, let's go ahead and turn the rapid speed to 25%. So once you're off and away from your part, Doosan recommends you reference return the machine. This way, the machine will be starting from a known safe place when we restart our program. To do this, I want you to press the reference hard key and then press the Z-axis hard key, then the X-axis hard key, and last, the Y-axis hard key. Now your spindle is away from your part. Now that we have our machine in a safe spot, let's go ahead and press the edit hard key. Notice that the line that I stopped the machine on is highlighted by the cursor. Here, we need to give ourselves a point of reference to return to. If your program does not have end numbers, go ahead and add an N500 on the line of code it stopped on. You can do that by highlighting the end of block on the line above, typing N500, and then the insert hard key. Now you have a point of reference to come back to. Here's a hot tip for you. You may want to put that end number on a line above where it stopped, just to give the tool a place to start where material has already been removed. This is just something to think about from a machining standpoint. At this point, I can correct whatever caused me to stop in the middle of my program. For example, this could be editing the program, changing a broken tool, changing a work offset, or maybe adding some fixturing to my part. Once that is completed, I'm going to come back to the control. Let's go ahead and press the edit hard key and then the reset hard key. Your cursor is now at the top of your program. Now I want to press the MDI hard key. For this program, my spindle was running at 12,000 RPMs when I stopped it. So I'm going to key in M03 S 12,000 end of block and then press the insert hard key. I will then press the green cycle start button and my spindle will turn on and spin at 12,000 RPMs. Now let's press the program restart hard key. Then let's put the machine into memory mode by pressing the memory hard key. I'll key in my N number, which is N3180. So let's pause right here so I can explain the two types of restarts our machine is looking for. You will notice there are P-type and Q-type soft keys available. This is really important. P-type is used when the program has already been executed once before the machine was stopped. So in my current scenario, this is what I want because I've run this program before. The Q-type option is in the event that the program has not been executed since the power was turned back on. Q-type is also used when the machine power has been lost or turned off. I will choose P-type, and you will notice my screen changes to a program restart page. Here, you'll be able to see destination coordinates, your distance to go, active M codes, your tool number, and spindle speed. Now you need to press the program restart hard key to turn off this function and have control of restarting the actual program. 
Doosan recommends you also turn on single block before executing restart. Now this is a personal preference of mine that I'm gonna share with you as a professional tip in this restarting process. Press the check soft key on the right side of your control. This will allow you to view your program, all of your active M and G codes, your spindle speed, and the distance to go for your tool. That distance to go number is very important and everything you want and need to know in this situation is all on one screen. I want you to turn your rapid speed down to 0% or 25% depending on which one you're most comfortable with and turn your feed rate override down to zero. Press the green cycle start button and turn your feed rate override control up as the movement of the machine starts and the tool moves towards the beginning of its cut. Now just keep in mind, you want to restart your program in a manner that allows the tool to safely pick up where it left off. That place may be previous lines of code and will rely on you as the expert to know which line you want to execute to move back into your cut and start making those chips fly. So this is great. That tool was running for a while. You had to stop it and now you are back up and running where you left off. Now let's talk about restarting a program on the new IHMI control. Fanuc and Doosan have made it easy to pick back up where you left off in the event that you have to stop your program midway. So we have the same scenario here. I've stopped my machine and now I need to go back and pick up the start point. Let's reference return our machine just like we did previously. And let's press the edit hard key and the reset hard key to return our cursor back to the top of our program. On your program page, you will see the tools icon on the right side of the screen. Let's choose that. Here, the first choice you see is program restart option. Let's choose that by pressing the green OK icon at the bottom of the screen. The system opens up a program restart dialog box that has three steps. The first step is block search. Make sure you follow the instructions that are in green above before you start filling in the blanks. So here, it is telling me to turn on the program restart switch. So I will press the program restart hard key. It then prompts me to put the machine into memory mode. So I will press the memory hard key. Now, I will fill in the needed information. Here, I have two options, either block counter or sequence number. I'll choose block counter. Next, I have to tell it which line of code I want to start on. I am going to pick back up at N3180. So I will type in 3180 and the input hard key. Next, you have a choice of Q type and P type. Again, this is the same as previously explained. I'm going to use P type as I have already run this program previously. I will press the P-Type icon in the bottom left corner of my screen. Next, I'll press the search icon. You will see a message in the bottom of the program restart page that says executing. Once the software has run, it will move to the second step in the restart series, that is restore auxiliary function. Again, our message in green tells us to turn the program restart switch off so I will press the program restart hard key. The next message in green is to change the machine to MDI, so I will press the MDI hard key. The next message says to execute necessary MSTB code and press next. Here, I'm going to program M03S12000 into block and then the insert hard key. I will then press cycle start my spindle will turn on and come up to 12,000 RPMs. I will then press the next icon in the bottom right of my screen. The software now moves to the third and final step in the restart series, and that is move to restart position. Our message in green tells me to put the machine in memory mode, so I will press the memory hard key. The next message says to start cycle to move to restart position. Here, I will turn my feed rate override down to 0% and press the green cycle start button. 
I don't want to let the machine start moving just yet. Go ahead and press the red close button. Then press the blue arrow where the tools icon used to be. Now you are back on the machine operation page and you can see your position, your distance to go, your program, your feed rate, your spindle speed, and all of your active M and G codes. So there it is, you are back up and running. That's all I have for today. If you wanna see a future video on a topic that you think is important, type it up and put it in the comments below. I really wanna thank you for watching and keep machining with Doosan.